All right, a live look across our uh, western portions of Fargo. You're looking at I-29 out here near the uh, West Acres area. We do have some high clouds out there. Temperatures still lovely as we head into the evening. 36 degrees out at Hector. 41 still at the airport in Moorhead. So we are definitely melting some of the snow pack here in the Southern Valley. North northeast winds right now at about 10 miles per hour. A little cooler off to the west for Jamestown and Valley City while the Devil's Lake Basin seeing temperatures in the low 30s. Uh, Grand Forks at 33 degrees. 41 though in Detroit Lakes as they're enjoying a very awesome Friday evening. Those clouds limiting some of the sun for neighbors to the west and to the south. That's why the temperatures there a little bit of a struggle. A snow system moving through portions of South Dakota and Iowa with some very slippery conditions there. As the main low pressure system is working its way uh, through Kansas right now, some tornado warnings have been issued for storms working their way through parts of central Missouri. For us, it looks very quiet. Now we do have more clouds to the west and south with this storm system, but as you can see, that line of snow having a tough time making much progress to the north. So this storm system passes us well to the south. Overnight, though, as we head through the evening, temperatures cool into the 20s, even a few teens up north. It'll be chilly feeling outdoors, wind from the east, and a few clouds out there. But overnight, we'll have that chance for some patchy, dense fog building across the Red River Valley and point south as the moisture melted into our atmosphere from today's sunshine will make itself known in the form of some patchy fog. Watch out for that as we go through the early part of the day. If you're heading outdoors to the good old St. Patrick's Day Parade in the FM area or your hometown getting outdoors, we'll start to see increasing sunshine. Wind still from the east, very light. A few more clouds down to the south and west. Temperatures are rising through the 20s to near 30 as we go through the midday hour. And look at this, our warmest day of the forecast period thus far. We'll have a good shot at seeing some 40s and I think a decent chance at some mid 40s in and around the western reaches of Otter Tail County where there is less snow on the ground. 38 in Roseau and it looks like a gorgeous day in Langdon at 34 degrees. Here's a look at your planning forecast. A chilly 12 degrees with some frost on the windshield. And watch out for that patchy fog. It evaporates as we go through the morning hours. Temperatures rising on their way to 41 degrees here in the FM area with winds fairly light from the east or south as we go through the afternoon. Best chance of the warmest weather in the Southern Valley and into Lakes Country. A lot of mid 30s though up north as we try to take care of a little bit more snow on our weekend ahead. Now, this storm system as it makes its way out of here, will miss us entirely to the south. But this storm system out here on the west coast promises to work its way through and bring a chance of some unsettled weather beginning Monday in the afternoon, lasting into Tuesday afternoon. And many of us will see accumulating snow right now. A little far out to predict exactly how much snow, but a good one to two inches across our area. Certainly not out of the question with isolated places picking up even more. Here's a look at what it could look like. Tiffany uploading a dandy, gorgeous, wintry scene near Comstock. All right, we talked about Saturday. Just awesome for your St. Patrick's Day. We cool off just a pinch on Sunday. We'll see increasing clouds late in the day. Monday, by the afternoon, drive time home. I expect some snowflakes to be flying. That continues into the morning hours on our first day of spring, which begins very late on Tuesday, by the way. But we get to some more spring-like weather by Thursday. If we didn't have snow on the first day of spring, it just wouldn't be North Dakota weather. Right. This yeah. does not require a snowblower the way it looks, but maybe just a shovel. Okay, good. All right.